Good morning, this is Mr. Craig, and I want to show you another way that you can present your material on Google Docs by using your Chromebook. I know that some of you have seen me use Cami, uh, and I know that some of you are very comfortable with creating the Google Doc into a PDF. Either way, it works great. What I don't want you to have to do is to print off the the homework or the review sheets or whatever it is that I'm giving to you that I need for you to submit to me. Cami is a great program because it'll save it in your Google Drive and you can still use your stylus. You can write on your Chromebook and do all the work just like you were writing on paper. So if you don't have Cami, I do. That's why I have that little uh, shortcut up here. And it's probably not a bad idea for you to do the same thing once you get this is to type in the search cami app and actually click on cami app and it should bring you to something that looks like this cami your digital classroom hero click on that and if you do not have an account what you want to do is come up here and create an account in the upper right hand corner i do have an account so it may throw me into um my already the information which it did so what you'll it'll do is it'll pull up your options for your different gmail accounts use your school gmail because by doing that what it's going to do is allow you to open up and store into your google drive so once you have created an account you're logged in you're now ready to open a file you have to go in and actually select the file that you're going to be using here we go. So I have all these accounts. I'll click on my school account and um, hopefully you'll have your document up and ready to go. So and it doesn't, Cami doesn't care what we're looking at. So let's just look at today's homework. Um, so hopefully, there we go. Second semester. And the day that I'm presenting this is the first day that we are e-learning here. And let's see here. So the worksheet shouldn't be that difficult for you to find it. And then once you have your document that you wish to change, pull it up. Uh, I'm not sure what yours will say, but you have the ability to make this larger. Um, I can't grab the screen and make this larger. Here, let's see. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of. Oh, here we go. So make it bigger here. And then, so you have your options over here. So this right here is what you're going to write with. Obviously, I'm writing with a mouse here. To erase, just click any part of that line, and it's gone. Uh, you can change colors, as you may have seen me do often while I'm working these problems out. Okay, pretty cool. Um, and then if you need to highlight something, you can click this one up here, and depending on what color you want your highlighter to be, you can highlight certain stuff. Um, you can say that I don't like any of that stuff, and I want to erase it all. Instead of going and using the eraser for each and every one of those things, which you could do, but it's very time-consuming, come up here and select, sort of draw a box for everything that you want deleted, then come up to this box up here, delete it. I'm not sure why that didn't go away, but let's there. So, Cami, a pretty useful tool for you to use for Google Docs. Now, when you finish, what you will want to do is it says that it's saved, but I've, from past experiences, it's not always so clean. Um, so, let me see here. I'm trying to remember how I was able to save it. Oh, here the actual save so let's pretend that i put some x's i did some writing on there i can save it to my google drive or i can download it actually let's save it so you'll create your own copy because that would be the copy that you would send to me so it's going to save it in as a google as a document in google drive save it probably the best thing that i would do is actually download it so click on download and then make that into a PDF file and make sure that all the pages are on the same thing. So you don't have to um, 
And you definitely want to do it with all the annotations. If you do it the original and no annotations, then that's kind of pointless. So click on the PDF file, save it to your computer or your Google Drive. I don't care. Uh, probably with the Chromebook, you probably want to go Google Drive on that. Um, so I'll go ahead and go Google Drive and then begin the export. And let's see where. So open the Google Drive. And let's see where it put it. So there you go. And it says Kami export. So if you click on it, there's the X. You can easily email that to me, um, I believe, by just coming over here and sharing it with me. See how easy that is? Pretty cool. All right. If you have any other questions, as always, make sure you email me.